All right, so in this problem, we have a series of numbers, and we want to know what the next number in our series will be. So let's take a look at our transitions. We have a few options, and so we'll write all of them out. Moving from 0 to 0, we could either be multiplying by any number, let's say 1, or adding 0. Moving from 0 to 1, we only have one option, and that is to be adding 1. Moving from 1 to 2, we could either be multiplying by 2 or adding 1. Moving from 2 to 4, we could either be multiplying by 2 or adding 2. And moving from 4 to 12, we could either be adding 8 or multiplying by 3. And moving from 12 to 15, we can... The easiest transition would be to add 3 because the multiplication would be a lot more difficult to figure out here. So it's probably a transition of adding 3. Now if we take a look at our transitions, it doesn't seem to be a consistent pattern only with addition or only with multiplication. And therefore, we should look at a combination, an option that combines them. So if we take a look here, we have multiplying a uh, multiplication and then addition and then multiplication and then addition and multiplication and then addition. All right. Now I I decided to start off with the multiplication because here there is no multiplication option and also here. So it only works when we start off with multiplication and then we move on to addition. Now if we can see this pattern, it seems like we are multiplying by 1 and then adding 1, multiplying by 2 and then adding 2, multiplying by 3 and then adding 3. So our next transition should be, if this last one was addition, our next one should be multiplication by 4. And so if we do 15 times 4, we get 60, which will be answer B, and that will be our final answer.